It's bourbon night. Hello, I am Chad. I'm Sarah. What do we have, Sarah? What do we have? I'm kidding. We I have asked you. <laughs> uh, Red River. Yeah. Which is bourbon finished in Pinot Noir casks. Pinot Noir. So down this in is, Texas. Down in Texas. So this is another finished bourbon, a barrel finished bourbon mm -hmm. that seems to be gaining more and more popularity. You could say um, probably a lot of people point to Angel's Envy as kind of starting that. Yeah. One of the earlier ones. They do the port finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Port finish. Makers is doing some uh, some finishing with some different stays and stuff. Yeah. Jefferson's has a couple different ones. They have the wine. Yeah. Uh, Cabernet casts for them. They do Cabernet casts. They do the rum cask too. And a rum cast, right. Yeah. So this is... Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. Pinot which Noir. I have never had a Pinot Noir before. I've had the cabs and the ports, but mm -hmm. this is new. This is new. So, and this is a new bourbon. This right. uh, comes out of Point Pilot, Texas. Pilot, Texas. Pilot, Texas? Pilot, I think. Pilot? Point Pilot? Ah. I know. Pilot Point. <laughs> Pilot Point. We were both right. Um, Pilot Point. Let's see. Yeah. Western Sun. Distilling. Okay. And this is cool. And this is right here on the label. Uh, every bottle sold supports native Texas wildlife conservation. And they have this cute little duck on the back, just to let you know you're saving some ducks. That a duck is wildlife. <laughs> In case you forgot, ducks yeah. are wildlife. Ducks are wildlife. No, it's kind of a nice bottle, though I like, it's different than most I've, things I've seen. I like the red mm -hmm. with the, like, the pearl finish. Yeah. Different. It is. So, right now, if you're, Ooh. if you're wondering, well, I haven't seen this bottle anywhere, because right now it is in Texas and Florida. and Florida. But they're expanding this summer yeah. so that, I don't know, coming soon maybe to a state near you? Mm -hmm. We shall see. So we got some information from the distillery. Um, it is two-year-old bourbon. Oh, that's right. And it is their own distillates. They're not sourcing it. They're making their own juice, <clears throat> their own new make, or then, white dog, or white lightning, or, or uh, whatever you want to call it. Moonshine, or whatever, moonshine yeah, or whatever, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> They're making their own distillate. And then they age it in Pinot Noir casks for six months. Mm -hmm. So right. it's a two and a half. Two and a half. One, once it's all set and done. Yeah. Two and a half years old, two year old bourbon, then finished for six months. Another six months in Pinot Noir casks. But I mean, the color, look at the color. Yeah, it's. I would never. Well, you know, I think. A lot I mean, of if that you just gets... poured this in a glass and told me it was two years, I'd, I know it's coming from the Pinot Noir casks. Right. But still, like, it's, it's not as it's red very, as I thought it would it's be. Very it's still brown. very amber. Yeah. yeah. And the proofage is 82. Oh, and you can smell the wine. But I love oh, wine. Oh, definitely. Love it. So Ooh, that is a strong wine I mean, not as much as I like bourbon. Yeah. <clears throat> Pinot Noir. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I'm going to need a minute. <laughs> okay, well, I'll give, I'll give uh, the people here a little bit more information that I got from the distillery. So the mash bill is 68% corn, 22% rye, and 10% malted barley. <clears throat> so this would be considered a high rye bourbon as well. So very strong It reminds wine me, the smell reminds me of the Pritchard Hill from... Jefferson's. Jefferson's. Hmm. It's got that same, and I don't know, it's totally different because they're Cabernet casks, but it's got this light vanilla, almost like a hmm. sweet burnt marshmallow. I don't know. But you know what's on the very end? Cherry. Is young. Fresh cherry. Young bourbon. That's what it smells like. To it me. is true. Yeah. It's Just kind of that very, very end. earthy, grassy kind of green. It is grassy. Yeah, uh, I'll give you that. Type of uh, new bourbon. But let's, let's see... <sighs> See how it tastes. Yeah. All see right. what we got. Cheers. Mm. I think I, I say that every time. Mm. If we just do a mashup, mm. smash cut of, of the tank. first thing I say after I taste the bourbon. It's usually, mm. like, I've never tasted bourbon. Oh, it tastes like bourbon. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, on the finish, you do get some of the heat on your tongue where you know it's a little younger. Really? I don't get it. Just a little. I don't get any of the heat. Just a little. It's not in your chest. Which to me, if I was gonna choose mm. it anywhere, I mean, it would be on my. I mean, I, it's eighty-two. It's eighty-two point four proof. He not like. Well, I know from young. Right. From young. Yeah, but not much. Like yeah. just the slightest hint. Hmm. I'm not. And then it's gone, up. and it doesn't burn in your chest like you would think. Like when when you think about drinking like moonshine, like nothing close to that. And even when you think about drinking like really young, not so great bourbon mm -hmm. nothing even close to that it's almost just like the faintest ghost of a young bourbon i don't know yeah i mean it's definitely if i was poured this blind and asked to guess the age i wouldn't say two years i might say four i would probably say four yeah yeah um i think the the barrel aging 
in the cask helps it. Honestly, though, I mean, I don't know how much, how much does this cost? I don't know. This was given to me. Oh, a gift. So I'm not sure. I remember trying to look it up online. I want to say it was around $30. That seems right. I would have guessed 30 to 40 Mm-hmm. So it's... I mean, for 30 to $40, if you're, definitely try, worth if you're it. looking to try a wine finished bourbon, I mean, Angel's Envy is, what, up, it's a little... It's more, yeah, more expensive. Uh, 40 to 50 I want to say. If you want to know if you like a wine finished bourbon and you haven't tried one yet and you want to start with a this low a, level something, a try great this one. starting point. Yes, for sure. Absolutely. It's got kind of a short finish, not a whole lot dancing around the tongue. It'd be really nice to break out it like after dinner, like after dinner drink. Yeah, this would totally be. Yeah. You have it to people over. Sort of desserty. Kind of. It, it reminds, it's like a nightcap, kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but not in the way of like how, you know, if you're going to have a nightcap, you want it to be like 120 proof. Yeah. <laughs> like if you're just if you're ending your evening right. somewhere. Okay, on the third taste, I get some of that burn. Just a little. Just a tiny it bit. It doesn't bother me at all. It just no. lets you know. I actually like, prefer it. Really? Before, it was feeling like, you know, come on, do something. Do something? <laughs> do something already. But I, I you know. You know me, I like higher proof bourbons. You know what I love to do is put this in a blind wine finished flight. That would be fun. Yes. I mean, this one's the cheapest one I've ever heard of that the wine Oh, finished, for sure. So. Typically, there's a premium. If it's if you take it out of one barrel and pour it into another barrel, it goes. whether you're double oaking or whether you're finishing in another barrel, the price, but so it's this guy it. for 30 bucks, don't quote me on 30 bucks, but for 30 bucks, 34. Uh, is a deal. Is a deal. I would recommend it. I would say pick it up for yourself uh, wherever you can find it. I think I have seen it online. So if you're in a state where you can have alcohol shipped to you, try it there. Um, but I would recommend. I would say if you're not, a com I mean, and when I say purist, I don't mean it in a bad way. Like some people just don't want to mess with the bourbon, so that's fine. Um, if you are interested in like, you know, exploring different finishes and you know innovations and stuff I would say if you haven't gotten into the wine ones yet start here if mm -hmm. you like it I would keep going up because yes. again they get really good true but I used to think I didn't like wine finished bourbons but that was just because I was having a particular one, one. right yeah so all right <laughs> <laughs> me too <laughs> all right that'll do it so in other words go out and pick it up give it a try all right thank you sir thanks chad you're welcome and until next time drink more bourbon finished in wine casks or just bourbon or wine but or mostly bourbon wine. bourbon <laughs>